Hey guys, Gary Dean here, TampaFloridaDetailJuice.com. I'm here with another edition of the Untold Truth in Detailing. As you guys know by now, since we're on, I think, the 14th installment now, this is all the stuff that most of you new guys have a tough time finding answers to on the internet and through your peers and all that kind of stuff. A lot of people, you know, a lot of detailers or whatever, they don't want to talk about this stuff. Um, I mean, I kind of get it, but uh, the bottom line is, if you guys have a question that I can address uh, through a video, I want to do that and explain it so that, you know, the new guys coming into the detailing thing understand what they, you know, what it's going to take to really get going and do a great job so that we can keep our industry tight and keep all of the random hacks out and what I mean by that is people who um, you know are just in it to make a quick dollar and not necessarily caring about their customer uh, they literally are just using bad products uh, bad processes and you know I want to keep those super duper small timers you know from corrupting our industry anymore uh, and uh, I, I know that you guys know what I'm talking about so I'll just kind of leave it at that but as far as this video goes I get a lot of questions about insurance and what type of coverage should you have now you know again I am doing these videos as basically a favor to you guys uh, shedding some light on things that nobody wants to talk about and you know you do what you need to do for your own business and I'm just giving you a general outline of what types of insurances there are what you choose to get is up to you uh, what you don't get is also up to you uh, if you're a risk taker and don't get insurance then again that's up to you and you have the ability and are in control of making the decision of whether or not you purchase a insurance policy to cover yourself, maybe your employees, uh, and you know that kind of thing. So again, it is not mandatory to have insurance of any kind to run a business. Uh, well, I should say the detailing business. I've never. Uh, I've never been in a position where I have found uh, anything about that where you have to have insurance and it's good when you're getting started if that you don't have to have it because that's an extra expense that you know you you're not having to pay for the problem with not having insurance is you are opening yourself up to liability that you can have coverage for if something were to go wrong. Now again, if you're a risk taker and you're not worried about it, that's one thing. You know, that's on you. That's that's the decision that you can make for yourself. But if you if you get yourself into a position where you damage something or uh, a passerby trips over a cord or something like that and they take you to court or they try to they try to sue you over it then you're really going to be in a in a position where you're going to have to come out of pocket for those damages and if you want to limit that liability which is what i suggest uh you will make sure that there are no cords on the ground there's nothing for someone to trip over there aren't any you know equipment in the way make sure everything's nice and tidy um, you also want to make sure that you you know you're not wearing metal on the outside of your your clothes that when you're close to a vehicle I mean you know not driving customers cars is a pretty big deal but so if you're not going to have insurance I would do everything I could if I were you to limit my liability. That means not driving customers uh, cars, don't move them, don't start them and drive them, don't do any of that. 
and again, make sure your area is tidy. Um, I would refrain from doing any paint correction because there's a huge liability in that. I mean, if you damage paint, you're going to end up having to paint a panel. Um, blending everything, you're, you're going to have to deal with diminished value on some of the nicer cars that are out there. Um, a lot of you guys, if you're just getting into the game, you know, again, you, you probably saw my, you got to pay your dues video. So you're probably not doing super extravagant, extravagant cars yet anyway. But the bottom line is, you want to, if, if insurance just doesn't work, you most, you really shouldn't be in business if you can't afford to protect yourself from potentially, um, you know, having a lawsuit against you or if you don't have the money to pay for, you know, damage uh, if, if something happens. I mean, for example, if you've got an extension cord laid out and somebody trips over that extension cord and they fall and smash their head on the ground, um, I know that's a little bit dramatic and you know probably won't happen. But they, for example, they smash their head on the ground because they tripped over an extension cord and they get brain damage. I mean, imagine what potential for disaster in your life that could cause. Uh, that's why it's good to have, you know, for those kinds of things, a general liability policy is important. That's going to cover things like that. If somebody trips or falls over an extension cord, or um, if they if they trip over a piece of equipment, or if if your generator is sitting too close to a car and the exhaust burns the paint on a door or just crazy things like that which you know again limiting your liability would mean that you're paying attention to all that kind of stuff but it, it just covers the uh, the unknown I mean r really that's what a general liability uh, policy is for so that you're not liable for potential random stuff to happen and it's important to have that you know I, I can't speak to uh, specific specific uh, pricing on on general liability insurance again you're gonna have to do your own research on this uh, I am going to let you know of uh, a company that I generally deal with I'll give you that information if you contact me directly I'm not gonna put them in this video but uh, if you want to know who I deal with, I will give you that information. Uh, they do work in seven different states, uh, and uh, they will provide either the general liability, like I just said, or the higher end deal is the uh, garage keeper policy, which would cover you if you were going to drive a car, uh, transport a car, move it around, and that kind of thing. The garage keeper would cover the garage keeper policy would cover. Uh, not only you while you're in the car moving it, but it will also co uh, cover the car while you're working on it. And, you know, that goes for paint correction and that kind of thing. That's a full umbrella over everything the Garage Keeper policy is. Uh, and, you know, if you're, if you're more well-established and you have a shop, uh, you definitely want to think about that. If you're, if you're trying to focus on heavy paint correction, you definitely want to think about a garage keeper policy. Now that's going to be a more expensive policy, but again, it covers more. Uh, but you're putting yourself uh, in a position for far more liability as well. So the more expensive policy that covers more is definitely uh, more beneficial to you than a general liability policy that is just going to cover uh, if, if somebody has an accident because you left uh, an extension cord. I mean, that's that's the best analogy I could use is the extension cord thing. But So those are the two different types. Garage Keeper covers pretty much everything. You driving the car, you working on the car, all of that. Uh, and then the general liability is for everything else around it, but not necessarily what you're doing, which, you know, again, uh, having a general liability policy is better than not having any policy at all, but at the same time, um, a garage keeper policy is going to cover far more and really keep you out of trouble if there's ever an issue and you know you don't have the savings to cover an issue with a car. I mean, for example, if you 
have to move a car out of a parking lot and you back it into a light pole on accident and you know there's damage to the bumper or whatever maybe structural damage uh, garage keeper policy is going to cover that uh, the general liability policy will not cover that so again I'm not an expert on insurance I can tell you from experience uh, you know that that it's it's definitely uh, it will behoove you to have insurance just the peace of mind is worth it and you know it will protect you from liabilities I mean if you just can't afford the insurance in my opinion you should not be in business however if you're gonna take a risk do everything that you can to limit your liability and a liability is anything that potentially could cause you to come out of pocket with money period so do yourself a favor and be careful when you're working on these cars and uh, if you guys got if you have questions for me uh, about insurance moving forward uh, 813-846-4406 and like I said uh, I if you reach out to me I can get you the number of the people that I deal with and uh, he's a, a, a good friend of mine that's a, a partner in the in the company and you know I've been dealing with him for eight years now um, they've been good to me and uh, they can uh, help you out if you're in one of those seven states I don't know exactly what those states are obviously Florida is one uh, but again I can get you that information if you reach out to me on a personal level um, you know again all of this is my opinion uh, based on my experience so uh, take that for whatever it's worth to you but I can tell you and I'll say it again I'll say it a hundred times in a business where there is potential for risk I if I were you I would do everything to limit my liability regardless of whether you have insurance or not whether you have general liability or garage, keep, garage keepers policy you always want to do everything that you can to limit the liability and I can tell you that you know one of the biggest tips that I can give you is to not drive a customer's car period don't move it don't stick those keys in the thing and put it in gear that will help you especially you new guys to limit your liability for a car accident um, I would say that that is going to be the biggest risk is for you to damage a car by driving it uh, over everything else really I can't think of anything else um, vandalism theft I mean you, you can get coverages for all that kind of stuff and you know especially if you're keeping it overnight and that kind of thing you want you want coverages for all that stuff but if you can't afford insurance to cover your ass you should not be in business and that's the same with the equipment that you buy if you can't afford to get good equipment you shouldn't be in business you're not you're not ready to be in business if you can't afford the things that you need now I'm not saying that you have to buy the best of the best of the best of everything to get started I'm saying that if you can't afford the things that you're gonna need to cover that customer 100% make sure that they're happy make sure that your job is efficient make sure that you're covered you shouldn't be in business uh, too many people out there are just jumping into business and they have no clue how to run a business they think that because they got 50 bucks in their their pocket and they can walk into a big box store and walk out with a few watered down detailing products that they're ready to go uh, you know you've got your 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 twenty seven dollar shop vac you've got your you know your huge five gallon wash bucket you're using tap water and you know you just are not ready but uh, if you've got questions on insurance I can put you in touch with my people and uh, they'll try to set you in the right direction if they are not in one of the states that you're you're in if you're in a state that they don't cover is what I'm trying to get at uh, I am positive and matter of fact I spoke with with my buddy before I did this video uh, letting him know I was gonna do it and that I was gonna refer people to them and all that kind of thing so they know you're calling they know that they're they're ready for you and so if if they if they don't 
cover a state that you're in, then they should be able to help you get in touch with the right people. So um, I'm, I'm here if you need me, 813-846-4406. And uh, if you can't afford to cover your ass, don't go into business. Keep keep your day job. Keep doing what you're doing. And, uh, you know, because, you know, don't get into something and get in over your head because there's p potential for disaster. Disaster. Period. And, you know, think about these things. Do what I'm suggesting if you find value in it. If not, if you don't follow what I suggest and what I do, that doesn't mean you're going to fail. But there's a lot of value in the experience that I have. And I have done the wrong thing. And I have figured out what works best. And these are the things that I'm sharing with you guys. So again, I'll put it out there a hundred thousand million bazillion more times. 813-846-4406. It's right there on the screen. Use it. I'm here to help. If you don't use it, if you don't reach out, I can't help you. All right, guys. So I am not an insurance specialist. I'm not an agent. I don't do insurance for a living. So consider the source when you're making your decisions and you're thinking about your insurance situation. And what I mean by consider the source is I'm only a guy who has had insurance, uses insurance, and is in the same business that you're looking to be in. So I would say that it's worth hearing my advice on the subject, but I say to you again, I am not an insurance specialist. Um, all of everything I'm ever going to tell you is my opinion based on my experiences. I mean, and I, I've mentioned that several times, and that's the bottom line there. But a couple of other things that I want to address, uh, one of which uh, is uh, I did mention to limit your liability. That's very important. Do everything that you can to not put yourself in a bad position. That's the bottom line. Now, accidents happen, and that's what insurance is for. So that's what this video is for. Um, when you are calling the insurance people, whoever you decide to go with, Make sure, and I, I did make some notes, I'm, I'm going through my notes, making sure that I speak about everything that I think is important. Um, you want to make sure you're clear on what's covered and in what instance the coverage covers. Uh, just make sure you ask a lot of questions. Make sure that uh, by the time you get off the phone, if you still have questions, that you're writing this stuff down and you make another phone call to make sure that something you think is covered or are concerned about is covered. Um, the other thing I wanted to, I mean, this is this this one is is pretty huge. Um, so insurance is for catastrophic events that will change your life if you don't have it. What I mean, mean by that is, in my mind, a thousand dollars isn't going to change my life. Anything inside a thousand dollars, I can cover it. I can make sure that it's good. I don't ever have to worry about, um, you know, if I, for example, if I were to go too aggressive and burn the paint on a fender. Unless it's a supercar, that fender shouldn't cost more than $1,000 to repaint. Now, if it's a supercar, uh, a Ferrari, Lamborghini, that kind of thing, it, it could get out of that um, $1,000, you know, c catastrophic bundle. But, or I should say not catastrophic bundle because inside the thousand dollars is the safety zone in my mind. Um, 
inside that thousand dollars I know that I can take care of it I can you know handle it immediately I can make sure my customer doesn't have to wait on getting something fixed um, I can just make the plan to figure it out handle the business and be done with it um, so when I when I deal with deductibles um, I generally put my deductibles at a thousand bucks that just means that the insurance company is going to pay anything after a thousand dollars so so from one penny to a thousand dollars you gotta pay that you're responsible for that portion but is a thousand dollars going to ruin your life is it gonna put your family in a bad position and and let's just be honest if a thousand dollars is just really gonna put you in a bad position you need to rethink your whole situation and that's the problem with most people and I keep talking about it a lot of these guys you guys are you know, not not all of you, but and then that's the point of this. A lot of guys will just go into this with no resources, no money to handle it, no backup plan, no plan B, and that is not how you start a business. That is not how you run a company. That is not how you get successful. You start grinding and you build that up slowly. You put yourself at very little risk at first and make sure that you can you know build to that point. And you know as as the business gets b bigger and, and better, then that's when you take more risk, uh, when you can afford the coverages for the insurance to take the risk. And so, you know, I usually keep my deductibles uh, between $500 and $1,000. A thousand dollar deductible for me is fine. Just like with like uh, health insurance and that kind of thing, you know, with business insurance, a thousand dollar deductible in my mind is a good buffer area where I can handle everything inside a thousand bucks. No problem. Again, you never go into anything thinking there's going to be a problem, but that, you know, insurance is, is, is for the unknown. It is for, you know, the times where things really just get bad. They get bad all of a sudden and then boom, you need help. And that's what the insurance is for. It's for catastrophic events that will change your life in a negative way if you don't have that coverage. So uh, I would say that a good idea for deductible is around a thousand bucks. That's the rule I live by. I can handle everything within a thousand bucks. Or if it's a big claim, you know, if it's a fifty-five thousand dollar claim, I've got to pay everything up to a thousand bucks. As far as what coverages you need to have. Think about the kind of detailing that you're going to do, the jobs that you're going to take, and the potential for damage, the, the potential for loss. And, um, you know, for general liability, you know, $100,000 per uh, instance is realistic. Can it go over that? I mean, is it realistic that someone's going to trip over your uh, power cord and die? Probably not realistic, but could it happen? Absolutely. Um, you know, talk to your insurance provider and see what they recommend. Um, just also keep in mind that the, they are salespeople and they, they want you to buy more so that they make more money. That's the way that it works. But overall, I would say $1,000 per instance is realistic for general liability. Uh, your garage keepers is far more like it's, it's a... Um, it's a more specialized program, and I would definitely talk to your insurance provider on that. But it's all about protecting yourself, but insurance isn't for those little itty bitty situations. Uh, it's generally not you know, to cover a bumper being painted. It's generally not for you know, um, a, a scratch that you put on a car. It's, it's not for you know, um, the small stuff. It is for the big catastrophic stuff that will change your life uh, if it happens. So keep that in mind and get coverage based on the jobs that you do uh, and, you know, whatever you feel is appropriate. Let me tell you, I've been in two nasty accidents in the past, within the past, 10 months. So one of which was a motorcycle accident where I totaled the bike. Uh, another one was uh, I recently totaled my 16 Toyota Tacoma. And let me tell you, 
If I didn't have awesome insurance, because the, the bike situation, the lady didn't have enough insurance to cover me, my damages. Um, I, I had the coverage to cover me. Um, I'm, I was smart in, you know, what I needed, you know, and I, I, I rolled with it. I paid the extra uh, to get the coverage. And let me tell you, I would be in a bad position right now if I didn't have the appropriate insurance and I'm, I get whew, a little choked up. Insurance is an important deal. Um, I would be in a bad situation right now if I didn't have the appropriate insurance to cover uh, my doctor bills and that kind of thing. I mean, you can, re you can replace a vehicle. Um, you can't replace your life, but in this particular situation, you don't want to potentially put your family in jeopardy because you don't have enough insurance. So think about that. And if you've got questions, give me a call. But yeah, just, you know, ask a lot of questions, get a lot of answers. If you don't come to um, an agreement with them, maybe find somebody else to talk to. Uh, you know, again, maybe my people aren't the people for you. Who knows? Uh, all I know is my perspective is I'm a guy who has insurance for certain things. I'm a guy who believes in insurance for certain things and you don't want to put your family in jeopardy over a few bucks a month. It's just not worth it. So uh, let me know if you got any questions. I hope I've answered everything and put it into perspective for you because that's what this is about, perspective. Uh, and if you guys check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation, it's a group on Facebook. Uh, where we talk about only my products, my processes. You can talk to people that, you know, are using my stuff and, you know, getting, you know, awesome results with it. And that's an opportunity to speak with someone other than myself, uh, which obviously I'm biased. I feel like my products are the best on the planet, yada, 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 yada. But I am a sales guy and I am going to tell you that. I am going to try to convince you to buy and all that stuff. That's what I do. That's, you know, that's how I roll. I'm a businessman. But I can tell you that I develop my products in a very unique way with a chemist I work side by side with. He's a friend of mine. Um, you know, I have a very unique situation. So everything's formulated for me and my specs to get the most out of not only uh, enjoying what I do in detailing, but also to give the customer the best possible end result without any redundancy, fewer products, better results, period. Detailjuice.com. Check it out. Let me know if you got any questions. Have a wonderful day.